Quick, don't think of a pink elephant. Now, you're probably thinking of a pink elephant, but it's not because you wanted to, so why are you? Well, there's this thing called ironic processing, which is a psychological process whereby trying to keep something out of your mind or suppress it with other thoughts makes that thought more prominent and harder to get out of your mind. It's the same principle as when you have a song stuck in your head. No matter how hard you try, it won't go away. Now, an unscientific explanation for this would be, well, you have to remember that you're trying to forget something in order for you to forget it. So, how do you forget something? Now, there are many theories of ways to get songs out of your head, like going to a loud and active place, or singing another song that you like, or even playing the song stuck in your head over and over again until it just gets so annoying that it just leaves your mind completely. Having that song stuck in your head raises a question. Why does that song, that specific tune that drives you so crazy, get stuck in your head? I mean, it could have easily have been your favorite song, so why that one? Well, these unwanted songs that get stuck in your head are called earworms. And while they're not considered problematic, those who do experience earworms, which is almost everyone, consider them to be annoying and sometimes unbearable. And interestingly, out of men and women, the group that find earworms more annoying are women. But let's forget about music for now, if that's even possible, and take a few steps back. Are you still thinking about that pink elephant? Some of you are, but most of you probably aren't. Let me explain. The ironic process theory has two mechanisms. A dull process theory, if you will. The first mechanism is the monitoring process, which unconsciously monitors or keeps you thinking about an elephant. It's what allows you to remember that I'm talking about a pink elephant without me having to say, remember, we're talking about a pink elephant. The second mechanism is the conscious operating system, which allows you to think of other things without any external promotion. Meaning one second you could be thinking of what you're having for dinner tonight, and the next you're thinking about what color the dinosaurs were. This is known as autonomy, and is the state of existing or acting separately from others. Without it, you wouldn't be able to make choices, and you would be unable to disregard what anybody else says. Ironic process theory suggests that in order for the suppression of a thought to be effective, there has to be a balance between the two mechanisms. Meaning that your conscious thoughts must be prominent enough as to not let your subconscious interrupt. Now this may be a little confusing, but here's something that you could do at home to help you understand a little better. Find a song, whether it be on the radio or online, and get it stuck in your head. That song is now being unconsciously thought about, i.e. stuck in your head. Now play that song out loud and try to sing the lyrics to another song. See how the difficulty of doing this changes as you change the songs. Some of you won't be able to do it, but that's not a bad thing. It's just a part of being human and being able to think freely. The next time you get a song stuck in your head, don't get so frustrated. Instead, be glad that you're not a mindless zombie. Although I could imagine that zombies get thrillers stuck in their heads a lot, so yeah. Thanks for watching.